Performance enhancing drugs. If you're trying to get an edge in the gym or in sport, you might consider taking them. I'm sure you've heard about the risks, but are these drugs really as bad as they seem? Let's have a look at some of the different kinds of performance enhancing drugs. Number one is anabolic steroids. They're essentially a synthetic version of testosterone. The name basically means that the body will spend more energy on muscle building than what it's programmed for. You may have heard them referred to as clenbuterol, trembolone, or anavar. Some slang for it is eating clean and training hard. A play on the phrase eating clean and training hard, as well as a trembolone sandwich. Stay classy. The upside of using these drugs is that it reduces recovery time so that you can quickly pick yourself up and get back to work again. But before you get too excited, let's have a look at some of the downsides. The risks for men include a swollen prostate, impotence, infertility, baldness, and paradoxically, the growth of breasts which is a common endocrine problem for men, but may negate the whole manly man thing, if that was what you were going for. And don't think you ladies are off the hook. You can also go bald, get a deeper voice, or it can mess with your period. Oh, and fun fact. Did you know from an anatomical perspective, the clitoris looks almost shockingly like a tiny, tiny penis? Well, if you can't see it now, if you take these drugs for a long time, your clitoris will actually become enlarged enough for you to get a pretty good view. Isn't science fun? Number two is androstenedione, a type of anabolic steroid, but it's produced by the body. Too much of it can cause pretty similar side effects to anabolic steroids like acne and baldness. Men will enjoy decreases in sperm production, shrunken testicles, and man boobs. Women can also get deeper voices. Nine out of 10 female baritones would recommend. The government finally outlawed its sale in 2004 on the heels of what was called the steroid era in the MLB. Remember when everyone was talking about Barry Bond? Yeah, that was a huge part of it. Number three is gonadotropin, also known as the human growth hormone, taken to improve endurance and increase muscle mass. Yet neither of those things have been scientifically proven to be caused by human growth hormone. People also call human growth hormone the anti-aging drug. It caught fire in the MLB and it isn't even banned from the NFL yet. Human growth hormone is not illegal, but it can only be purchased by prescription. And a lot of people taking it don't have that prescription. It can cause diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and an enlarged heart. And not to mention that users eventually experience muscle weakness, which defeats the whole purpose. So not only is this one dangerous, it's also completely counterproductive in the long term. And finally, we have erythropoietin. And this one is a doozy. It was very big with professional cyclists in the 90s, and it's thought to have caused at least 18 people to die through means like strokes, heart attacks, and pulmonary embolism. Instead of directly affecting the muscles, it actually increases the oxidation of red blood cells, keeping the muscles in good shape for a long time, but also increasing increasing the risks of blood clots. The first three types of drugs I mentioned do have some really bad downsides. This one in particular is super scary because we know it has actually killed people. It doesn't just present the possibility of danger. We know for a fact that it can be deadly. So what do you guys think? Have you used these sort of performance enhancing drugs in the past or do you intend to? Let us know your experiences in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.